Hey, book readers. I'm so glad you're here and I'm excited to catch you on this new platform. My name is Lindsay and I'm the real life book reviewer on Instagram. And now I am joining YouTube with my own booktube channel. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and about what you can expect to see from me. So pretty much in the summer of 2021, I picked up a book, loved reading again. I had no idea what Bookstagram was. I had never heard of it, um, but the algorithm popped it into my feed and my mind was blown. I was like, what? I found Bookstagram, realized that there's an entire corner of the internet with people like me and I loved it. I didn't think I was going to start one, but I loved finding Bookstagram, finding book re recommendations um, and getting to talk books with people who were as passionate as I was. So that was a lot of fun. But as I was on Bookstagram, I was looking for something specific and I couldn't find it. So I wanted book reviews that were short and sweet with no spoilers, very little details, but enough information for me to know if I wanted to read it or not, because I kept picking up books and not liking them. You know, I, I just blind pick it up off the library shelf. I like to go in blind to books, but I got burned too many times. So I was looking for something like that and I couldn't find it. So I should just do it myself because I'm reading all these books. I might as well write reviews anyway. So I just started uh, my bookstagram as like a hobby for me. Um, just something that I enjoyed. I didn't even tell anybody about it for a really long time. And then finally, as I was getting hundreds of followers, uh, I started to tell people because I was like, I guess I should tell, you know, my husband or my family. It's been so much fun um, meeting people in the book community, getting to know some of you, talking about books and just seeing this platform grow. And I have enjoyed it so much. It has brought me so much joy. So a little bit about my reviews on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of you are here from Instagram, so you already know this, but I'll just describe describe um, kind of my routine with a review. When I write a review, I just make a short and sweet graphic with the cover and a one or two sentence like snapshot of what it's about. And then like one or two sentences of my immediate thoughts. I got some emojis down at the bottom that give you an idea of the feelings that I went through while reading. And then it has a few covers of similar titles um, that you can compare that one to. Sometimes whenever I put the similar titles, it's similar tropes to the book that I am reviewing, or maybe it's just vibes. Sometimes it's like, oh man, this book really reminded me of how I felt when I read, you know, whatever it is. Um, so sometimes it's vibes, sometimes it's tropes, but it helps give you an idea of what to expect with that book. Another thing that I added that I think is really unique about my reviews is the spice rating. And I know a lot of people do spice ratings, but the problem is it's so subjective. Like my four out of five spice could be your one out of five spice you know like it's so subjective so my goal when I created it was to be very straightforward and super easy for you to understand what I'm talking about so um, at the top of my page there's a pinned post that gives you all the descriptions of what my reviews mean so five stars this is what it means it gives you the descriptions of what I'm talking about and then the peppers rating is very straightforward. So I do it by based off of the number of scenes in a book. I'm not going based off of how explicit it gets. Like this one was, you know, only a couple scenes, but it was really explicit. Mine aren't like that because I don't necessarily read all of the scenes because I like to skip over the spice. It's not my preference to read something incredibly graphic or um, explicit. I'm not here for that. I'm here for other parts of the story. So I give you a rating of how spicy it is based off of how many scenes it is. People always ask me, how can you give an accurate rating if you're skipping the scene? That's how I give it. It's so easy because it's like, oh, there was only one time where I had to skip. That's a two pepper or something, you know, each number of peppers means something different and it's very straightforward. So once you read that guide and you start seeing my reviews and you can get a really good idea of what to expect from me and get a good understanding of how I rate spice, then you can know what to expect. And then also along with the spice rating, I give closed door modifications. And these are just chapters that I've noted and documented while reading that have explicit content. So I don't want to miss some of these beautiful, amazing books that are written um, just because there's one or two scenes that I had to skip over. So I thought to myself, if I am doing this, I bet there's other people out there who either are 
are doing it or would be interested in doing it if they had that information. So I started documenting it and just posting it as like, okay, heads up on this chapter that it's coming up, you know? So some people just like to know how much there is and they instantly can say, okay, that's fine. I can skip that much and I'm happy to read it. Or they say, that's too much out of my comfort zone. I'm going to pass on this one. And then I also have people who look at it and say, oh, that's not enough spice for me. I'm not reading it. So it's both ends of the spectrum, but it's really just to be informative and give you information on what to expect. Because sometimes, a lot of times in the book world, you have these so cute cartoon covers and then the insides are not so cute cartoon content, um, you know, so sometimes the covers can be misleading. So that's the graphic. And then in the caption, I try to make it pretty short and sweet, just of like, here's a few things I thought about it. And I always will say it, what format I read it, if it was a physical copy, you know, like if I'm reading it with my eyes or if I'm reading it with my ears. Um, so if it's physical or if it's an audiobook, and then I'll give you my thoughts about each. Then I also put like just a short and sweet, this is perfect for you if you like but 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 and list some quick things. Um, sometimes it's tropes, sometimes it's vibes, like <laughs> things that stood out to me about the book. If you are a reader who doesn't want to know much, but just a little bit, you could just jump to that part and be like, sounds good. I want to, I want to read it. No spoilers ever. Definitely not. Never spoilers for me. And if there's anything that gets spoilery, like a video of Jared's Akatar reactions or something, I'll always put a spoiler warning. So it'll be like perfect for you if you like Grumpy Sunshine, Brother's Best Friend, There's Only One Bed. So that's a little bit about my reviews. I'll read anything. I love any kind of genre but almost always what I read has romance in it. The only exception to that is I like to read thrillers or mysteries and sometimes they don't have romance but 98% of the time what I'm reading has some kind of romance. The majority of books I read are in the romance genre, whether it's a rom-com or a general romance, I also love fantasy, usually romanticy, you know, fantasy with a ro heavy romance plot. And then every once in a blue moon, I'll read historical fiction. The mood hasn't struck in a while, so I don't know, I just haven't, but once upon a time, I would read a lot of historical fiction. I'm planning on, whenever I read a book, I'm just gonna give a more in-depth video about um, my thoughts. I was like, Listen, I love reading books, I love writing reviews and making funny reels to try to make people laugh. But then I started thinking, I wonder what's going on on booktube <laughs> because I love talking about books and I can for sure create long form video content, you know, talking about books, I could talk forever. And then whenever I started the series, of my husband reading Akatar, <laughs> I had all this content that I was editing down to a minute and a half reel. And I was like, we should do something with this. And so I'm gonna be giving you long form video content talking about the books I read. Um, I'm gonna do some tropes videos. We're gonna do some recaps for sequels coming out. We're gonna do my monthly wrap ups. And then I'm also going to be posting um, some raw, unedited footage of Jared's Akatar Akamath reactions and whatever else he chooses to read if I can get him to read anything. So you can get more of that because I know you all love it and it is so funny and it's so hard to cut down. And I've been working on talking Jared into a weekly appearance. We're still fleshing it out if it's going to be like interview style or just me and him talking back and forth about what he's reading or what's going on. Um, so we're for sure getting more Jared content. Do not worry. I know he is entertaining. People always ask me like, is that weird that people are following you for your, for your husband's videos or like, is it weird? Like these, some of the comments on the videos. And I always say, listen, like I find him as entertaining as you. <laughs> so I can't blame you. One of my favorite things about it, about the content with Jared is like, this is Jared 100% of the time. This is not an act for a video. This is how he is about everything. <laughs> he is passionate about everything he talks about. He's animated. He is so much fun. So it's fun to share that um, with you guys and just to see everyone else's reactions because of course I feel that way about him, but you know, seeing everybody enjoy it, it's a lot of fun. A little bit about me in my real life. <laughs> I am a mom. I have two little kids. 
I'm also a speech therapist. So that's what I do as my day job. I do speech therapy. I love it. I'm passionate about it. I love working with young kids. I do a little bit of speech therapy. I'm a stay at home mom. I read books, write book reviews, make content. We got a lot going on. We launched a website, thereallifebookreviewer.com and it's TRLBR is the brand. We have resources for authors, resources for bookstagrammers or someone thinking about becoming a bookstagrammer. And then I just launched a bookish apparel collection that I've been working on for so long and I'm, I'm so excited that it's finally out there. It's has a life is happier with books theme. So each piece, is about how life is better with books and with reading. When I was thinking about designing something, I wanted something that had meaning to me, that was meaningful, not just something um, that I thought was cute. You know, when I was in the trenches of motherhood, I just had lost a piece of myself and I could not figure out how to get that back. Diving into fiction face first just helped me find happy in life a little easier and made me a happier mom and a happier person. And you can see them on my website at thereallifebookreviewer.com. All right, that's a little bit about me. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to follow along and talk more books because we all know books make life better.